really is difficult to balance these things. It's too bright outside to really see what's going on. But um, we're waiting for the slope car to take us up the top of the Piazza. And then we'll have a decent lookout over the entire city of Nagasaki. All right, so now we're getting on the, the cars. These are not like the funicular in Hong Kong. Just a handful of seats here. Most of us are going to have to stand at one point or another. So I will probably just point this thing outside once we get started. at a fairly slow pace. I shouldn't wonder if you could just walk along this thing here and be there just about as quickly. On the other hand, we'll go very out pretty much. Then you have to wonder because you're standing the whole time. If that's not more difficult. Oh no, wait a minute. Now it starts to slow up. Okay. Now it begins to get challenging. Turns, slants. I guess it's going up for about 500 feet. So, yep, it's going to be a bit of a challenge to try. I'm sure I know a person or two would be willing to do it. I'm not sure I want to work on this. Now that it's leveling off, you can see a little bit more of the bay beyond us. It is quite spectacular. <laughs> Don't mind that I'm able to see the ship in here, though. It's a bit of a hike from the, where the slope car drops us off to the outward point. And I suppose you have to have some room for those coming up and those staying up to actually look around. So I'm told there's an elevator, but I think I might just try the stairs to get the better view. So let's see how this goes. To be sure, getting a picture of me climbing stairs seems like nothing, but at the same time, you can see as we just pan around all the other views of Nagasaki while I'm climbing. And these are bigger stairs than the ones that, uh, on the ship. And a lot more even than the ones we were climbing on the wall. So I got no problem with this. And I need to get my steps in anyway. To be sure, I should have known it'd be just as crowded up here as it is down there, but sometimes you've got to go where the crowds are in order to get the same picture the crowds are getting. On the other hand, there's not that many people right here because, you know, everybody knows what our house looks like, but uh, the area surrounding it is worth a glance at the very least. And the harbor itself goes all over the place. This was what we were looking at when we were climbing, which explains why I wasn't able to see the serenade, because it's over this way. From the looks of this wide-angle view, you would really think that Nagasaki was a bigger city than all of this. It's barely even half a million people, and yet it's spread out over so much space. Indeed, our guide talks about how it has a good 5-10% of its houses are vacant for one reason or another. She really didn't explain. And I doubt it has anything to do with uh, the aftermaths of the atomic explosion as Hiroshima is almost completely bounced back. In fact, that's an interesting thing about Nagasaki is that its construction is such, this valley setup that when the bomb hit, despite it being uh, roughly the same size as Little Boy, 
Batman killed basically half as many people, uh, which is part of the reason, alongside with the fact that it was the second one rather than the first, that Nagasaki doesn't get the kind of press that Hiroshima does. It just didn't have those kind of casualties because Hiroshima was a flat delta river plain and could just spread out completely. Whereas you have mountains on either side of the city here that sort of muffle it a little bit more, thereby sparing it or its people, I guess. In any event, you know, it certainly is still standing and then some. Let's get a few shots again on the way back down. It is quite a view, no question about it. You can see almost all the way around the city and the valleys nearby. This is all Nagasaki, to be sure. Like with so many other cities we've visited along the way, it seems like the city covers a lot of empty ground as well as full. It's still hard for me to wrap my head around because it's just like we come from a place where it's just the city and then you have suburbs and then you have you know, empty space. It's sometimes hard to find a spot that's suitable for you, to be honest. That, and it's also difficult to find time sometimes. Um, and while this isn't perhaps maybe the best place I can think of, uh, at least it is a nice view and something you could probably appreciate. Even though it's not near water, it wouldn't be a bad idea to put you in the canal near Dejima, but it can at least do this much for you, so. There we go. Welcome to Nagasaki. Okay, Inasai.